pile number one, pile number one. Today we are going to make a reading um, on the topic how your future spouse is going to pursue you. So pursue you, how how they will pro, how will chase how they will chase you, you know, how they will hunt you. <laughs> so that we know a little bit more, maybe a little bit more information we can receive about that, then you will know that it is your future spouse. Okay. This one literally flew two of them, so I will take both. Uh, so this is these are going to be some kind of also signs. Let's say it like that, uh, that it is your future spouse. So this is going to be interesting reading. Um, I will take more cards than we are going to adjust everything to fit the screen. Um, I hope that you are doing fine, that you are having a nice weekend. It is almost finished <laughs> and this heat, I don't know where you are, but where I am, the heat is unbearable, but seriously unbearable. So I'm happy to, uh, to live, to, to see it finished. I hope that uh, some kind of rain is coming. We are going to take some random words as well. Let's see. And we are going to also take location. Okay. So we will take this and we will also take some kind of location. Let's take this too. Interesting. I'm missing papers. So there is a reason for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to find it for other readings. But for your reading, obviously, this is what it needed to be pulled. Let's place everything in the focus and let's see your cards. So we have three of pentacles. Okay, that's good. We have transforming the old, transforming the old and embracing the new crystals and animals. Medicine, create, period. Interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Then we have Adventure, Six of Vessels Reunion, we have Five of Swords, very interesting, Calling Your Soulmate, and then we have Celebration and City Center. Interesting, guys. Okay, so let's see the full picture of this reading. Your future spouse is somebody who is pursuing, you see, with the Three of Pentacles, we see this energy of uh, being grounded, being quite clear in the mind. So they are not rushed. They are not somebody who is just rushing into something. They calculate, they think about before they do something. So they are thinking about it before. They are creating some kind of plan. They're intelligent. So they're not just going to rush and do some kind of foolish things. They are going to think what will work best, you know, how to get you the, the fastest and most possible, you know, in most possible, surest way. And with this adventure here, I think that in their mind is like they have to take you somewhere. They have to take you in some kind of trip or they have to do something so that the two of you are alone somewhere. And to me, this adventure totally looks like a trip. It could be something that you wanted to do, that they wanted to do, you know, and then they are like, let's do it together. And then you go, you know, like to this kind of adventure, because this is a very beautiful card that, that shows us that we are going out of the comfort zone. Like the shell is opening, you know, like we are exploring other ambience other people other things it's a very very beautiful very positive card and with the three of pentacles pentacles we also feel that they want to invest so they want to invest something because we receive this energy of coins you know material and when people want to invest in something they see it as a valuable so this card also shows us that they see you as a person they want to invest in because they see you uh, very, very highly, highly valu uh, valuable. Okay. Transforming the old and embracing the new with the six of vessel reunion. I would say that, um, I would say that they want to present you the things that you see in one way 
they want to show you the other perspective of these other things. That that will be their way also of, you know, pursuing you. Because they will try to... Like, it's here we also see that they are pulling you out of your comfort zone. So they want to show you the new world, some new sites, something. They want to create some kind of experiences with you, new experience. And now we have this transforming the old and embracing the new with the Six of Vessels, beautiful card. It's like they want to make it deep. <laughs> they really want to cut the, those memories that you are having. They want to be special, okay? This is what I feel. They want to be so special for you so that everything that you experience with them stays deeply cut in your brain, you know, cut in your heart. It's like uh, imprint, not cut. Cut is maybe too strong word, but they want some kind of mark. You know, they want to leave a mark. They want to do something significant that you're going to memorize until the rest of your life, you know, no matter what. And this transforming the old, embracing the new is like also, like I said, pulling you out of the comfort zone. So they are they are going to do things with you that maybe they even never did. And they certainly know you never done them. They want to deepen it. They want to create, uh, they will want to create little universe, little bubble that is going to be just your bubble, like shared bubble. Only what you and them inside feel and have, you know, like... Something very personal, very, very deep. With crystals and with the five of, uh, of swords, this is interesting uh, because this could be that in the beginning of your relationship, your future spouse is going to be quite, you know, they will keep the status quo concerning some things. The crystals always shows me some kind of light especially this card i always see it when there is some kind of hard period maybe in life where you need some kind of hope you need some kind of um person to lean on, on. and i think that with this crystal we see that they want to be there for you so they want to be there as your support so if they see that something is going on if they see that something you miss that you need they are going to be there for you so this is also the way how they are going to pursue you. They are, they are really going to be very available to you. So if you feel sad, they are going to recognize it through very small details. You see this five of uh, five of swords card is like um, indifference card to me. It's like the indifference. Something happened, but nothing happened. Usually, sometimes this card shows up in my readings when person don't want to reveal their feelings. When they're pretending that everything is okay, actually nothing is okay. Or something is happening deep down within them, but they're acting like, you know, like nothing is there, like they're okay. But something is there. It's like mixed feeling, very, very, very mixed feeling. So I feel that they are going to know, they will know, uh, you will not be able to make a mask with them. So they will know how to read you, <laughs> by number one. They will know how to read you. And if you are posting, for example, on social media, if you are posting some kind of um, signs of the things and, and like you don't want to say directly what is bothering you, but you're doing it through little by little uh, revealing the signs, songs, some pictures, you know, you're like giving puzzle, you know, and you're waiting for who is going to solve the puzzle. This person is going to solve the puzzle without any problem because they connect you, they read you, they see you as a whole. They will really, really be able to know your emotions and your moods just by looking at you. This is also something that I see here. You will not be able to hide yourself from this person. And with these animals here, I have a feeling that this person either will come with the animal, so they will have animal when you will be with them, you know, when you will be starting with them, they will have animal. Or you will have animal and they are going to connect with your animal. So either or, either you will have an animal and they are going to connect with your animal, so they will show this affection to the to the being that you really love you know for example if you have a cat they're going to be really really nice towards your cat and, and your cat is going to love them very much so basically it's a sign 
that uh, if your animal loves this person, you know already that that is a big, 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 you know, like thumbs up. But it could also be reversed that they have animal and that their animal is loving you. You know, like, for example, they have a dog and the moment you're together, this dog goes totally crazy about you. So it's like connecting through animals, connecting through creatures that are part of our families that we love, that are accompanying us uh, in our lifetime and that are equally important to us like other beings that are surrounding us. And I think that that is a very important aspect here. So they are going to definitely include this animal love into this story as well. Calling in your soulmate, they will not let you go just like that. They will communicate with you telepathically. So with this person, you will have very intense energy when you are separated. If you are not with them physically, you will be all the time feeling them. You see, you will be all the time connected with them. It's almost like some kind of stream of energy and you will feel them and they will feel you. And you will somehow, I don't know how, but you will know their mood and they will know your mood even when you are separated. You will know if they are, if they are sad and you are sad, you're going to sense that in each other on distance through energy. Very interesting. It could happen that in the beginning of your relationship, this person just texts you in the moment when you are really down. For example, are you down? Are you feeling good? And then you are like, what? How does they, how can they know that? You know, how, from where? But, but it would be, the truth would be that they feel you. They feel your mood. They feel your energy. It's like some kind of very, very, very deep connection there. Soulmate connection. With this medicine create and period, I would say that they are going to, this medicine is very much uh, reminding me of this crystal energy where they are actually nurturing you, being there, supporting you, um, being there to heal, you know, all of your problems, finding the hope and solutions together with you. You see this little light that we are holding in the, in the air. With this create, I see it very, very strongly here with this adventure. So they will be creating new activities for you. They will be the initiator of activities. They will be the one who is going to propose, let's go to this trip or let's do this activity or let's go to, to play this game or let's go to do this. They will initiate things and activities that are including you in those activities. And with this period here, Period, in this case, I don't know why, but it is very much uh, reminds me of a menstrual cycle, <laughs> okay? So even if you are not a woman uh, listening this video, if you are a man, then it could be that in these menstrual cycles when your partner or you yourself, you know, this is where these mood swings are happening, you know, and this is when this communication becomes harder, and when we see that this person is going to kick ass, no matter if it is their mood and their changes of the mood or it is your, you know, the, it will not be possible to hide, to mask, to pretend, which is beautiful. Now, with this celebration and city center, I think that they will love to take you on parties. So with this thing, I really, really feel that they will want to take you to parties. And here I can connect it with this beautiful Three of Pentacles again, because it is a card that again tells us, I want to celebrate this life with you because I see you valuable. I want to invest in you and I want us to celebrate this. So it's somehow like nurturing and, and, and loving, just sharing the life with you. And City Center is something that I feel that they will want to show you around. Because when you go to the city center, you see basically uh, all of the people are walking, watching each other. It's like show off place. So with this location, I have a feeling like they will want to show you off. This will be their way also of pursuing you. They will want to be seen with you and they will want them. Uh, they will want you to be seen with them. So they will expose you to the, to the public. They will want to show you. They will want to go to the places that are crowded. City center is just a metaphor for some place where there are many people 
where many people could see you two together. Okay. So this is, this will definitely be something, uh, one of the methods that they are going to play <laughs> on their cards. It is very beautiful because this person, you can see that they're really trying and they're really investing. They have all of the components. And the most beautiful one is maybe this transforming the old and embracing the new. And something is also reaching. I feel that you maybe had some kind of experiences in the past with some people that were negative and they will the role will also be to change these experiences into positive by giving you the same experiences, but this time in incredibly beautiful way so that everything that was crooked and deformed in the past, you heal. And it is not a coincidence that it is standing beside this beautiful crystal energy together with this medicine energy. I think that this person will, will have a very big impact on your healing process as well as every other aspect of your life, fun aspect and knowing you very deep, feeling you even when you're not close to each other and accepting the beings in your life that are very important to you or them. Very beautiful reading, guys. A very beautiful reading. I'm so happy to deliver this message. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, like, share, or comment because I love to see that you are there. That gives me some kind of feedback that I'm not talking with myself. <laughs> and that is very beautiful to see your comments. They are always so supportive. I thank you so much for following me, for keeping this channel growing and developing, and most of all, for helping me to spread the messages that I really, really want to spread to this world. Thank you so much for being here. And I wish you a beautiful day or evening, wherever you are. Hope to see you with my next reading. Bye. Hello, guys. Today we are here with a new reading. And this reading is going to be about your future spouse. How they are going to pursue you. How they are going to chase you. How they are going to hunt you, okay? We want to see their methods. We want to see how they will be... Um, playing their cards <laughs> okay <laughs> so that you know ah this is my future spouse so that you could somehow connect the dots to make some kind of let me just a little bit sort this out so that you can make some kind of connections in your mind maybe through this kind of informations that we are going to reveal today in today's reading you will be able to recognize that you are now dealing with your future spouse. And the first reading was very beautiful. So, so beautiful. So I expect the same from this one. We will see what is going on here. We will take some random words as well. And we will take two locations um, that we are going to connect into into the view and the full picture that we are receiving. We'll take this, this and this. Incredible how... Okay, I will come to that and then, then we will discuss it. Let's take two from here. Okay. Let's take those two and let's see your cards. We are going to push everything a little bit down so that you see everything. So we have uh, Princess of Cups, wow, originality, builder, I love this energy, writing, beautiful. Then from the words we have, follow, shower, that is what I wanted to say. Those who are following my videos will notice how many times this shower appears. And for me, the shower is always a beautiful sign that angels are showering you with some kind of signs. Something is, you know, showing you the way. We have manifest and the moon on water. We have queen of cups and we have make the effort. A queen of cups came reversed, so I'm going to leave it reversed. Make the effort. And from the location, we have store mall. And we have party concert. Cool. Okay, guys. So, so let's dive into your reading and let's see how your future spouse is going to pr pursue you. With the prince, princess of cups, I mean, can it be more feminine? Can it be more, you know, maternal? 
uh, I don't know how to express, warm, generous, kind, compassionate, beautiful person. I think that they see you as that. But as we have this cup, uh, as we have this card as first, I would say that they're going to treat you like a queen. They're going to treat you like a queen. They will give you everything that you deserve, everything that you want, everything that they think that you need. And I think that they're going to put you on the pedestal. They're going to put you like a, like a queen. You're going to be sitting on their throne. And everything around them, everything with them is going to end up with you. You will be the first and the last thought. Alpha and Omega, this person is going to be absolutely crazy about you. And with manifest, I, th I see <laughs> that from the beginning, you know, it's like crazy feeling that I'm catching here. From the beginning, from the first time you saw each other, there was some kind of spark in your eyes and their eyes. From that moment, they knew that you are going to become their future spouse. And maybe since that moment, things happened or things will happen. There will be gaps. Things will happen. But that specific moment, that, 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 that milli, millisecond, you know, <laughs> when that spark came between two of, the, two of you, something told you and something told them, you know, this is the one. And since that moment, things are just going to manifest and they are going to work with it. I think that this person is a worker. I think that they will work on themselves, on relationship, on communication, everything. They are, they are a good observer. And I think that they will watch every uh, segment that it is lacking something. For example, if there is a lack of communication in the beginning of your relationship, they're going to work on it. If there is lack of money, the, you and them, you want to, you know, the queen is the high position and the queen needs things that queen needs, you know? So if they want to buy something for you and they cannot, they're going to start manifesting how they can buy something for you, if that is the case, or provide or to take you somewhere or, or you have some kind of deep emotional needs that they want to fulfill with their being simply. But they are going to be all around you and they're going to please you, okay? So this person will do everything to please you, pile number two. We, we see this. With originality and the moon on, on water, we see them definitely pursuing you in the sexual way. So towards something uh, deep and something where you are connecting with each other or very close. You know, they want to... They want to really enter deep within your being and on all planes, let's say it mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, spiritually. They just want to be everywhere. They just want to, they will put a spell on you. Okay. They will put a spell on you. They will be definitely different from every other person that you met with this originality. You can see that they are creative, that they have some kind of maybe very good humor or they know how to talk with you. You know, they know how to play the game with you that not many people can play or not many people can play long, but they go, you know, they can do it. It's something special about them, something that you haven't seen in other people. And they are very, they're, they're going to give you a lot of compliments connected with your physical look. And they are going to like worship your body. Okay. So they will be, be like, wow, your hips, your breasts, your face, your lips, your eyes, your hair. You know, they're going to be like your, 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 your. Everything is going to be for them. Everything is going to be yours. It's going to be, wow, <laughs> you're the queen. And with the builder and the queen of cups reversed, because this is interesting, because here we have prin uh, Princess of Cups and then we have Queen of Cups reversed. Uh, so with this builder here, I think that uh, maybe some of you, not all of you, but I sense that maybe in this relationship, it will make you feel very uncomfortable to be in that kind of position. Maybe nobody was treating you like that before. Maybe you feel that it is too much. Like you, 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 you feel it within yourself. I'm not that beautiful. I'm not that special. I'm not that original. But the thing is that they see you. So with this Queen of Cups reversed, I would feel. I feel that they want to 
they see your insecurities and they see that sometimes you don't feel in that element. You don't think that that is you. But with this builder here, I think that they are going to do everything possible that you can imagine to build up your self-esteem, to build up your self-worth picture of your self-love, um, healthy view on your values and qualities and skills. I think that this person is going to uh, pursue you in the way that they are trying to make you feel really special, original, but not to get something from you, but to actually just to bring you up to the place where you need to be, pile number two. Okay? And that is wonderful because only because of these kind of people we can actually find ourselves finally, fully. I think that this energy here is um, maybe something that you have been having problem with in the past as a teenager, maybe as a child. Maybe somebody was putting that thing on your back, like you're not good enough or you need to be better or you have to be this or that. You maybe lost some kind of confidence or you never saw yourself as something very beautiful. And maybe you are comparing yourself with other people. This is also something that I, that I feel here. And you, you, when you look at others, then you see, ah, all of them are much more beautiful. They have this, they have perfect skin, they have this, they have that, the face, the eyes, la, la, la. But actually, you know, you are, you are, you're not aware of your own original beauty. They see something very, you both, I think that this card reflects both of your personality. So I think that, like, they are very original, specific, very different. I think that you are as well. Okay. And with this writing here and make the effort, I think that this person is going to text you a lot. So this is something that you can also expect from your future spouse. They are going to write. They're going to express your, themselves. Maybe they are going to really send a lot of messages. This is what I feel. This could be because of their over excitement to connect with you. So maybe... Yeah. And also, I wanted to say, if you are male, because I was putting a lot of um, a lot of uh, focus on on queen as a woman, but if you are a man, you are the king. So it is the same thing, just the king. That is what I wanted to say. Sorry, I apologize. If you are a male, then it will be a little bit harder for you now to connect this. But uh, my my readings are always gender neutral. Just there are so many more women uh, watching this video that I somehow sometimes even forget that they are you. <laughs> there, I'm sorry, I apologize. So basically, this person is going to write to you a lot, a lot. They're going to send a lot of messages, and you could find it weird in the beginning. You're like, why this person is really texting me so much, you know? And it could be longer messages. It could be like they're spilling their soul to you. Like they're opening up things, you know? Like they feel really comfortable. They can say and they can share with you whatever they they feel inside. And, and, and first you will feel a little bit weird about it. But then you will realize that is their way of making the effort. That is how they're showing you I'm there, I'm working, I'm trying, I'm doing, I'm delivering. I'm not going anywhere. I want you. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. You know, and, and that is very important part because I feel that within these insecurities, you also have maybe tendency or you had tendency in the past, maybe to a little bit close yourself when things become more serious to protect your heart or to simply just cool things down to see if other person is really interested and serious about you. There is something like that there that I sense. So this person is not going to give up. They will make a lot of effort. They will all the time push, 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 text, text, text. And I see that it is divinely guided. So pay attention to these messages because these messages are not random things and they are not writing it just to write something. They're really opening their soul. And I hope that you will recognize that thing at the moment when it will be happening. With this follow here, I have a feeling that follow uh, very much reminds me of this card of manifest manifestation. So they will just follow the stars. They will follow uh, the natural order of things. And they are going to, like natural order and following and manifesting reminds me also 
on being a friend, then from friend being a partner, like in relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend, then from there being uh, fiancé, you know, fiancés, so being engaged, and then from there being married. So it's like following the natural pathway, you know, that is what they are going to do. They will go one by one by one. They will not uh, skip the steps. Then with this shower, it's a beautiful card. And I think that it will be a shower of messages, you know, it will be a shower of expressions, shower of beautiful um, expressions of love and appreciation and beauty. I, I think that this person will give you a lot of reason to build back this self-confidence that maybe you lost or, or for the moment, you know, you, you felt insecure or... I think that this person will shower you with love, guys. This is really beautiful. And approval, approval here, it reminds me of this make the effort. Because this approval is like, they will want your feedback so bad. They will want to receive your approval that they can shower. It's like, they will want to do it, but they also want to receive this beautiful, you know, like this beautiful confirmation from your side that you are part, you know, of that, that it's not only them giving, 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 they need this balance, they, they need it interaction. So guys, if this happens to you, and, and you meet this person, don't close your heart to this person, don't be afraid of this person, this person is really serious, very serious about you, they find you very attractive, they want to explore with you the world, the life, the bed, you know, I feel sexual energy a lot here. They are really, they find you very attractive. And with store mall, I feel that they will want to use queen, king, you know, they will want to take you to shopping. They will want to take you out to buy things for you or to buy things together. I, I have that feeling that it is with that. They will want to maybe buy gifts to give gifts to you as well, or they will want two of you to choose together things, but it is definitely connected with this buying, something with the mall, something with buying, something with visiting shops, stores, something is there. And party concert, it's very much connected with having fun. So this is a person who wants to make you happy. This is a person who wants to, how to say, um, they want to gift you with things that you want to have. So for example, you have a favorite band, you want to go and see it, you never watch it, and they find out that it is that band, they are buying the tickets, they're taking you there. You know, like they want to give you the best experience. They really want to treat you like a queen or like a king, okay? They, you, for you, for them, you are the queen, you are the king. And that's beautiful because you are the person who is, I think, similar in nature. When you fall in love, you fall in love fully. And this person becomes the center of your attention. And I think that maybe you have been burned and people maybe neglected you and they were not, maybe some people were not good towards you and you lost that spark. You started protecting yourself more and more. You start closing yourself more and more. And I think this person is coming to build back all of you, to remind you who you are to remind you how you were before, when your heart was open, when your heart was pure, when there was no those scars and people who never deserved you and so on and so on. It is a very beautiful personality. It is full of everything. It has segments that are that I see that are really, really worth waiting for. And this person is someone who can really give you the beauty and the quality of this life. Guys, it was wonderful reading. And if you're new to my channel, if you love videos that I'm making, make sure to subscribe, like, share, or comment. When you comment, I know that you are there, especially if you are new. I love to see new faces, but I really, really appreciate old faces as well. I want to say a big thank you for everyone who is following me, who is helping me to grow this channel. And the most uh, important to spread these messages that I feel the need to spread with this world. Thank you so much for being there and I wish you a beautiful day or evening, wherever you are um, and hope to see you with my next reading. Bye. 
Hello, pile number three, pile number three. Today we are going to make a beautiful reading on the topic how your future spouse is going to pursue you, okay? How they are going to chase you, how they are going to hunt you, <laughs> how they are going to do that. It's very, very beautiful reading. Uh, number one and two, pile number one and pile number two were amazing. Uh, I'm really, really fulfilled with the energy that we received there. And I already sense with these cards coming that something very special and beautiful is coming your way as well. So I'm very curious to see what the wine is going to share with us today. And uh, maybe with these details we will receive some kind of signs that this that you are dealing with your future spouse you know that like we will feel aha uh -huh, that is the one you you will receive some kind of more important signs that that you can, how you can recognize your person okay we are going to take three random words And we are going to take two locations. Okay. And we are going to see your cards now. So we have the Hierophant. Own your words. Animals, beautiful. Nutrition. Interesting. We have business, burn, and we have gesture. Here we see revisit the woodward, reversed ten of wands, and free yourself. Here we have store more, and we have work study. Okay, very interesting. File number three. Let's dive into your reading. With the first card being the Hierophant, we have a very specific and different reading from the first two. Because the Hierophant itself is the first card that it is not representing individual, it is representing some kind of group. It is representing some kind of organization or we could say some kind of, yeah, group. A hierophant can and could represent a family. So it could be a union of individuals, like a family. And family comes first to my mind when I see this. But also it can represent other institutions like mosque, church, synagogue. It can also represent a school, college, some kind of places that are, you know, including more individuals and it is very beautiful because it is a place where people share values so i think that with this card being set as first your person first of all the connection with your future spouse could be through one of those things it could be a family friend or somebody who is visiting your family who is coming into your family who is in some way connected with your family some kind of connection with the family or it could be place, sacred place of prayer. It could be temple, synagogue, uh, like I said, mosque, church, you know, something connected with that if you're religious or spiritual. But it could also be a school or some kind of institution of knowledge, college, and so on and so on. It could be that your person is going to go come into your life through these channels. This is a general reading, never forget that. So we are we are having a very wide choices here, but there are, because there are many of you, we are receiving a lot of energies. So your person sees you, that is the most important thing, as somebody who shares their values. So you and them share the value, whatever it is. If it is religion system that you are the same religion and you understand perfectly each other with that. If you are on the college, then you are studying the same field and you understand perfectly each other on the same field. It is something that it is common or you, you come from the similar uh, area, not area, but maybe background like them. 
So you understand the culture perfectly, perfectly well. You understand what I mean? I think that this person is going to be somebody who will be fitting extremely well with your personality and your life. They're they going to fit. They're just going to fit. You will not have to do anything and force anything. And I think that for them as well, pursuing you will be quite effortless, <laughs> which is interesting because everything is going to already be set up in the start, from the start, everything. It's like somebody created the scenario for two of you to just go with the flow and everything sets, uh, sits in their place. And this is wonderful because it is so strange and rare. I don't see this very often. With this revisit, I think that this background or this field or this thing that it is connecting you, you know, it's going to be the, the, the subject of your start. So you're going to start based on that, you know, that will connect you. And from there, you're going to just spread on your words and the woodward. Initially, this card in a, in a classical tarot spread decks is a strength card. And here we see on your own words, on your words. So this person is going to pursue you, but by not saying and talking, but saying little, talking little, but delivering a lot. They are going to show you and demonstrate to you their strength, their strength of character, their strength of trust, um, reliability, responsibility, uh, everything that you are actually searching in a person um, for the long term, because this person has it and they're going to demonstrate it. So with this own your words and the woodward, which is also the strength cards, we see these links, but usually it is a lion. We see that this person is extremely brave and they are going to demonstrate their bravery to you. You will see them doing things that other people don't and being quite, um, how to say, they, they have a high level of dignity and self-worth and self-respect and they are standing very firmly on the ground and it, you will just admire this person's action. It will be like when they say something, their words are like a gold, like in gold, set in gold, typed in gold, write, wrote, uh, written in the gold. Nobody can sway it. People are really trusting this person. And you can see from the environment and you can see from them that they never um, leave you. They never abandon you. They never, you know, uh, how to say, betray you with anything. If they say something, they do it. And, and this is a very beautiful part of pursuing you and chasing you. With the animals and with the ten of wands reversed, I see that um, in the previous piles, I, I received this, this card and I was connecting it with the animals from your side or their side. I was connecting, I was seeing this energy as them having animal or you having animal and then connecting uh, with those animals like a family again. And this could be the case as well here because of this hero fund that is a family. It's like, it's not only the animal, it's the symbol of something that you're taking care of, something that it is dependable, uh, you know, depending of you. Something that it is important to you, that it is in your life, that it is depending of you. They're going to embrace that thing. They're going to embrace. And I think with this 10 of wands reversed, you will finally have this helper, helper, real helper, real helping hand. This person, when they come into your life, they're going to demonstrate that they are reliable by helping you with the things that you feel overwhelmed. With this card, I really feel that you have been... Before this person, you have been in the, some kind of period of struggle where you had so many things on your back and you tried to do everything at the same time, simultaneously fighting, fighting with the time and obligations and people and requests, but it was not going. You, you simply, you could do it, but you were exhausted. And, and when this person came into your life, when they come into your life, guys, you're going to just, you know, be relieved because this person will say, you don't have to carry all, all this weight you don't you don't have to do all of this by yourself i can help you i am there it is two of us now let me help you and it is beautiful because this person is going to jump into your life as a real supporter so that is how you can also and through that support they are going to pursue you because they will demonstrate that they are the person you can lean on that when it is hard they are there when you need something they are there and 
that stability simply, stability that you need and that feeling that somebody can take over part of your of your things. Because I have a feeling with this uh, pile number three that you are a person who is uh, who wants and loves to do things alone because in a way you believe based on good reasons that you can do it the best. And if if you get leave it to somebody else, that person will you know blow it. They will not do it the same way how you would do it. And then for you, it is somehow easier. Just put it on my back. I will do everything. You are like that. You are a doer. You know, I'm going to do everything. Just put it on my back. And you cannot. You are tired and everything. But it's easier for you to take everything, to do everything. Then you know that everything is going to be done properly, right? So this person, when they come and when they enter your life, they will maybe be among very small amount of people that you're going to trust enough that you're going to actually, you know, leave one part, give one part. You will say, okay, you can help me with this. You can help me with that. And they're going to prove to you over and over and over again that you can trust them. With nutrition here, I have a feeling like this person is going to take you out for dinners. They are going to take you out to uh, to some kind of places where you are going to enjoy food. The food is going to be beautiful, high quality nutrition, uh, high nutrition, really, really uh, something that you will enjoy fully. They will enjoy fully. I think that there is something there. Um, again, <laughs> a nutrition family. You know how with family, we always gather when we eat together, and and that connects people. Eating together creates bonds. There is something about food and a sharing of food between people that creates this family feeling, that this welcoming feeling, this belonging feeling, like I belong to this group, I am part of it, and feeling safe and at peace. So I think that through food as well, it will be their way of showing you, you are my family, I feel good with you, I love to share with you, I love to spend time with you. This is definitely going to be one of their ways of, of pursuing you by taking you out on dinners or lunch or branches or, you know, whatever, branch, lunch, breakfast, whatever is going to be there. Maybe they will even cook for you. That is also something that I see there. Maybe they will even cook and prepare food for you. Maybe they will want to do that extra to show you how much they appreciate you, you know, and they, they want to do something beautiful, something special for you to feel special. With this free yourself, I have a feeling that this person is going to be very, very, um, how to say, mentally stable. So they're going to be somebody who is not going to choke you, who is not going to possessively keep you. They're not going to forbid you things and be scared that you are watching others or you're going somewhere, you're doing something that you should not do or you are, you know, some kind of jealousy attacks. No, I don't see this with this person. I see that from the beginning, this person is going to give you a certain level of freedom to be what you are and how you are. And this is wonderful because with this freedom, you can do the things that you have to do freely. You don't have to I, I have a feeling that with this card, maybe in the previous relationships or, or some kind of relationships with other people, it can be family, it can be friends, people try to maybe control you or you had to uh, justify yourself all the time. I did that because of that. I had to do that because of that. You know, like you had to all the time explain yourself, your motives, your thing. This person will not be like that. They will just give you the space that you need for the things that you need. And I think that they will also free you from yourself. I think that, that, that there is some kind of cage that you put, that some kind of constraints that I see as self-built, self-created. And I think that this person is just going to open the gates. Like, it's enough of that. You're beautiful. And we are now family. We are together. We are bonded you know, you deserve to be free. You are shine. You are star. You deserve to shine. You have to shine. You are star. That is that is what is reaching. With this business here, with this business here, I see that they are going to help you with whatever you are doing. With this burn, 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 burn here, I have a feeling that uh, they are going to do everything that is in their power to make you feel again the spark of the life, you know, to revive you, to bring you 
back, you know, to bring that spark, that zest from for life, that that excitement, you know, that maybe you lost. And with the gesture, what more can we connect than with own your own words, own your words, you know, like do what you think, say what you do, make the balance between two of those. Beautiful. With the store of mall, I see that they will want to they will want to include you in uh, buying new things and uh, preparing new things or maybe even buying clothes. It's like the, your opinion is going to be very important to them and they will want to take you out when they are buying something so that you give them the, your input. Does that look good on them? Do they need this or that? You know, And also, they will want you to shop. They will want to go with you to buy things. They will want to see you you know, getting something new and beautiful and to provide that for you or together you could provide it for both of uh, you. You know, it is general reading, so really relationships are different concerning this thing. But whatever it is there, it is something that's going to make you very happy, very fulfilled. And work study, I have a feeling that with work and study, you will all the time constantly together explore and learn new things, you know. Like, um, maybe this person, for many of you, this person is going to become your right hand in your business. And maybe you will even be doing the same business. That could also, for many of you, be connected with family business. Because we have this strong family here. And for some of you, it could be that study, you know, that learning of new skills and... Uh, going to new adventures, studying new things, observing new stuff, new fields, and so on with you. I think that all of that, they're going to show interest. Yes, they're going to show interest in your work and they're going to, or in your study, in your learning, in your field, something that is your field. All in all, I see this person as very beautiful and compact person who feels this family value and who is working on themselves to deliver what they are saying and and I see also really helping you in this life physically helping you and mentally and emotionally it's like you're being your right hand really helping you being the somebody that you can lean on I see that this person really truly loves you because for them it is not to make themselves happy they want to see you shine they want to see you free they want to see you being relaxed you know, removed from the stress and self-constraints. I see that this person really, truly loves you. And when they will come and they will chase you, it will be in very genuine, stable, and incredibly powerful ways. File number three, this was your reading. If you're new to my channel, and if you love these readings that I make, make sure to subscribe, like, share, or comment. Because when you comment, I know that you are there and I feel that feedback from your side that I'm not alone here, you know, <laughs> talking with nobody. So thank you so much for all of those who are doing this. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, for being there, for commenting and liking. And I really, really appreciate it because whatever you do to support me, the messages reach more people. And that is why I am here. I want to spread the messages with the world. Thank you so much, guys. I want to wish you a beautiful day or evening, wherever you are. And uh, hope to see you with my next reading soon. Bye.